If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Now, Jamil, I like having you here tonight, fellow Syracuse guy just like you. I want you to chime in on two thoughts, dinosaur barbecue and snow. Dinosaur barbecue, the best barbecue ever. Until we went to St. Louis and I had their ribs, that was good. But dinosaur barbecue, hands down. It was the reason why I was 260 in college. <laughs> <laughs> and snow. Man. Well, how come Art Jones hasn't lost weight stuff. since he left that? <laughs> <laughs> Art, Art did lose weight, but Art probably still get that dinosaur part. You know, he's a New York guy. It's you know, a chip but, down, right? But that snow is no joke, man. People in Maryland think they see snow. You right. Know, oh, right. We, we come out the house and snow be up to my ankles, and I'm like, no. Like, up to my knees. I'm like, no, there's no way. There's right. no way I can do anything with class. They get that thing done in about five minutes to be clear. And usually you were a guy that was a class 20 minutes ahead of time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depends if they shovel the sidewalks. <laughs> right. yes, I, was, I, was there on, I was there on time, but 20 minutes. So, somebody said, well, I was in Jamil in class. He said, well, it was snowing today. And they're like, like no, nah, oh, I didn't going see for it. That. Oh, they never canceled class. They never, ever. <laughs> I heard they had like an underground tunnel. <laughs> get you the class in the snow. I swear I did. What do you think about It's funny, too, because you come down to Maryland, and it's like uh, you have everything. In the summer, when you guys are out there running around in Westminster, this summer it was at the facility in Owings Mills, it's like 150. It feels like that anyway with the humidity. And then you go the opposite way, and a couple months later, you're playing with snow. In October, you're playing with snow falling from the sky. It's crazy, right? Yeah, that's football, man. The weather, the weather is ridiculous, you know, but... What else are we going to do? Got to love it. You're going to go to San Diego in a couple weeks. It's going to be nice. San Diego will be nice. On that grass field. But people will be like, oh, it's football weather. But I'm like, there is no such thing as football weather. We play in snow. We play in Whatever. heat. We play in rain. It's like there's no such thing as football weather. So what exactly are you talking about? This is one of the debates, one of the many debates I got on on Twitter. Yeah. One of, one of my new hobbies. Right. So, yeah, there's no such thing. It's a fallacy. Football weather, snow, and all that. No, that's not football weather. There's no such thing as football weather. Chatting with Brandon Iamadeja and Jamil McLean out here at High Top Centimonium. It is Monday Night Live on WNST. Uh, let's look to Cincinnati while we got you here, Jamil, before we let you go. Cincinnati this week. Uh, we, you had this situation early in the season when you're going up against Blaine Gabbert. Rookie quarterbacks, it's, you don't have the history with. You can see it on the tape, but you don't have the experience of having going up against them and seeing what they like to do. What do you think about the matchup with a rookie quarterback and a guy like Andy Dalton? Man, from you know, he's he's doing pretty good. You know, he's setting a lot of records. You know, for for a rookie quarterback, you know, so he's definitely in a different category than Blaine Gabbert. You know, say I think he was more on like a a level of like Sam Bradford last year. You know, doing doing things like that, like Sam Bradford did his rookie year, you know, so just somebody, and, and obviously when you got a rookie quarterback, you're going to want to make the game plan very simple so he can get the ball off, you know, and not and not lose the game for you, you know, but luckily, you know, he has AJ, you know, and he can throw a lot of deep balls and they can get a lot of things done on their offense and they always, and they always can run the ball, you know, so they're going to keep the game simple and we just got to understand what it is and try to make this game as confusing as we can for him. By the way, my favorite highlights to watch in football are ridiculous catches. I mean, ridic the dude from Arkansas had a catch over the weekend. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but you'll not believe that this guy caught this football. Are you a bigger fan, like when you watch football plays, you get more of a, over a big hit or a big catch? What, I guess in two linebackers, probably big I'm hits. a big hit guy. A defensive guy. I mean, but do you get any, I mean, what A.J. Green's doing, it's ridiculous. He's making catches where you just stop back and say, really? Did that dude really catch that football? I mean, do you, do you admire that? Do you? No, I mean, because you know, you know, when I was in high school, I played both ways. So I was, you know, I was a tight end and a running back in high school. So, you know, you see a guy that makes a magnificent catch, and and the speed of the game is so much faster. So you're running faster, the balls are thrown higher, faster, harder. So, I mean, you see a guy make an amazing catch. I think it's 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 a thing of beauty. It's definitely something I enjoy seeing. You know, big hits. I like seeing that as well. Or crazy sacks and, and cause fumbles and things like that. You know, my favorite thing to see is a defensive touchdown, though. Anytime a guy <laughs> freaks it, and, and, you know, he's, he's running in and out and weaving like Ed Reed style, you know what I'm saying? What about when, like, one of the big defensive linemen runs back and touchdown? He's rumbling, that... stumbling, uh, bumbling. I, I like that, too. I mean, that's pretty <laughs> funny, right? Yeah. I tried to, uh... They tried to slam the guy that tried to tackle him. Oh, recently. yeah, we seen, we seen a highlight. This dude tried to just stiff arm this <laughs> dude. Right on. And he fumbled. Yeah, I don't remember. We, we got this thing called Plays of the Week, so we watch all the crazy plays in, in the NFL every week. So. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool stuff. Jamil, um, the other thing about Bengals is that even when those guys haven't been great, it's been a close 
this has been a real rivalry. It's not like Raven Steelers, maybe, but this is a real even matchup. If you guys have both won games, and a couple years ago they beat you guys twice. So I'm assuming that it, it gets to be back to that personal feeling when you go up a team like that again. Oh, it's definitely personal. It's always personal when it's in your division. You know, these are the games that really, really, really count. You know, and the Bengals they've been a good matchup against us for a long time. You know, from from as far as I can know, that's always been a battle, and it was battles last year. You know, so. We definitely got to go into it. We know they're going to bring everything they got because this is a race for first place, you know. So it's, it's no high in what this game is about or what this game is going to be, you know. And there's no high in what we're going to bring out or how we're going to do it because we all know each other. But I assume the plan is to go in there and kick some ass. I mean, you said it. <laughs> As always, the plan. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Give it up for Jamil McClain one more time. Hey, Baltimore football fans, mark your calendars, dust off your cleats, get ready to create your own purple football highlight reel because Baltimore Flag Football is taking over the infield at Pimlico Racecourse on Saturday, December 3rd for the Baltimore Flag Football Festival presented by Dr. Pepper. You ever thought about showing up for like a neighborhood flag football game just to induce fear in the guys that walk out there? Pay to play. If I play football, you got to pay me to play football. It's a job, <laughs> baby. So, you know, 50 stacks, I'll go out there and I'll give them my best, you know, flag football game. Well, you don't have to pay anybody 50 stacks to get into this one. They got plenty of cool stuff going on. Live local music, Miller Lite Beer Garden. Check them out on Facebook. Drop us a tweet or go to bemoreflag.com. That's the letter B, moreflag.com. Thank you again to Jamil McLean. We appreciate it. Go do work on Sunday. We got one more segment to go with Brendan and I and Gajo. This is Monday Night Live at High Tops on the station where we never stop talking Baltimore sports. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.